Hi Sagittarius, it's Tuesday. I'm going to do your reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is general, cannot resonate for everyone. Please don't force it. If it doesn't resonate, you can check your other signs. If it does resonate, you can check your other signs. Um, because you know, your different signs are different aspects of your life, right? So, um, welcome to my channel if you're new. I hope you will stick around. Hit like, share, subscribe. I, the free readings are given away to um, um, subscribers only, just randomly through the comments. Wow, look at that. The Sun card. I just got this deck. Isn't it pretty? I hope... Uh, it's weird because usually, you know, I let it sit in the sun and sit in the moon and, and um, you know, spend like a week with it before I use it. But it was just... I don't know. It was calling me... Liter not literally, but I just had a strong feeling to use it. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. The roles can be reversed. They can intermingle, flip-flop around. And it's not gender specific. So if I say he, she, please ignore me. All right, let's get started. Recent past, Queen of Swords. She's all about the truth. The Queen of Swords is somebody that does not put up with much. She knows when to cut people out. She will let, let people go if they don't serve her. She uh, doesn't put up with partial truths, half truths. She's all about honesty. Could be Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Current mutual energy. Oh my gosh. Wow. The unknown card. Okay, never. <laughs> I don't even know how to read that. Okay, let me go get the book. I've never seen that before. Hold on. The unknown card. It doesn't have a number or anything. I don't know how to read that. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess it's just supposed to come through intuitively. <clears throat> wow. So I guess we are, the, maybe the current mutual energy is unknown? I don't know. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, Queen of Wands on their mind. Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands is somebody who can take action. They could be thinking about a fire sign. Well, you, actually, that is you. So you're on their mind, or it's just the energy of the Queen of Wands. Um, could be a Leo or Aries, but I'm probably guessing here it is you. And there's also action tied to that card. Okay, we got a lot of people involved here. Queen of Pentacles, how they view you. They view you as stable, secure, um, hardworking maybe, independent, deep in their emotions, the world, beautiful, and it gets right under that unknown card, aren't these pretty, so I'm seeing these for the first time, look at that, gosh, it's pretty, how they see moving forward, seven of pentacles, waiting looks like you know they've done the hard work they feel they're kind of um, being patiently waiting maybe for their efforts to pay off hidden factors oh eight of pentacles hmm. focused working hard look it's like rumple stilt skin see the the, um, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. 
Eleven, eleven, twin flame. Best course of action. Four of wands. Being together is what it looks like. You may need to give this person an opening so they can come back in. Okay, most likely outcome, collaboration, working together, progress, things coming together, cooperation. So if you're being stubborn, maybe it's time to stop. Could be reversed, but you know. Five of Wands, bickering, yeah. Makes sense, so let's get some clarifiers. Four of Cups. Too much thought, not enough action, possibly missing out on an opportunity. You may need to, you may be being stubborn, Sagittarius, and you may need, maybe need to soften a little bit so this person has room to come in because I think they want to. Nine of Swords, almost a painful ending. Yeah. Queen of Cups. My goodness, we have um, we have every queen here except the Empress. Queen of Cups, emotional. Somebody that has a lot, a lot of love, maybe had an outburst. Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is feeling tied, bound, not able to move forward or free yourself of something but it's sword so it's all mental it's a mental entrapment it's not real interesting so okay right off the bat what I'm we'll get some clarifiers but what I'm getting is you've had conflict with your person and um We need to clarify the unknown card, but maybe you cut somebody out. Maybe you used harsh words is what I'm feeling. So your person doesn't know how they feel or how you feel. And you're dangerously close to a, to a painful ending. FYI. So take that. Think about, think what you need to think about is... <clears throat> Do I really want this to end? If you're digging your heels in and being stubborn, think about what if this ended? Then what could would you want to go back? So here's your chance to go back, okay? Because you have your forewarned. This is dangerously close to an ending. They don't want it to end, but they're you know. So so they don't they see you as being okay without them. They're waiting. They don't know what to do. Okay, let's clarify. Wow. But it looks like um, maybe you had an outburst or something. And maybe you don't know how to fix it. But it looks to me like you need to fix it. Why do we have the, um, let's clarify the five of wands, please. Here, five of wands. Three of wands. Progress. What's rattling? I feel like you need to let it go. Whatever the bickering is, you need to let it go. And and just look towards the future. Let's see what this what's the Queen of Swords. I think the Queen of Swords is that you said something harsh. Somebody used harsh words. Possibly cut somebody out. Possibly really didn't want to, doesn't want to cut somebody out or feel the way they acted, but is um not sure how to undo it. Or just being stubborn. 
temperance, patience, balance. Hmm. Sagittarius energy. Why do we have, what is this unknown card? <laughs> the unknown card. It's like a wild card. The devil, wow. Capricorn energy. Okay, so the devil is about like being tied and bound. Also with the two of swords on the bottom of the deck. Oops. Eight of cups. Okay, so I think what's unknown is whether or not you rocking away, you, they're walking away. They don't know. I think everything is very unclear here. And you... I think it's on your side. I mean, cross watchers can be throwing that off. But I feel like there was an outburst or petty bickering. Something harsh was said. And now neither knows where the other one stands. But if you were the one that used harsh words or, you know, had a little blow up. What, one moment. Let me think. Let me. Hermit. Let me pull. Let me. Give me just one moment. This unknown card. So you maybe had a, a you know, like um, an emotional outburst, okay? And, you, and there's a lot of love here. A lot of love here. You had a bit of an emotional outburst. Flip the rolls if you need to. And then for you, you're kind of like, it's like with, it was kind of, okay. Okay, now. So, okay. So for you, the, you have the outburst, right? And then you're done. And you're over it. But now, they're not over it. It's It hit them harder than... For you, it was kind of like a blow up, and then you're done with it, and you're okay, you recover really fast. They haven't recovered, let's say. They haven't recovered from whatever was said or them being cut out or whatever. Maybe you even said you're done or you don't want this or in, indicated that in some way, which has left them really not knowing what to do, how to move forward. This is dangerously close to ending. And it's unfortunate because it does look like a soulmate. They may be burying their self in work or you are. And because trying to avoid dealing with it. But you guys need to come back together. That's the outcome. But I just, Sagittarius, I would take this as a warning if you want this to be resolved, you know. Because best course of action is four of wands coming back together. Let me see if there's anything else. Anything else <clears throat> for Sag, please? Yeah, see? Best course of action. This is something that you I don't think you want to let go of. So just be aware. Alright, and you guys let me know. I'm going to do a divine door for you guys. Love these. Love my new deck too. Let me know. Okay, I love to hear your story. Isn't that pretty? I love to hear your stories. I also love to hear, so leave me a comment. I also love to hear where you guys, even if you just tell me where you're watching from i love that because i so it's like this you know i pray for all my subscribers every day and so you know it's really cool when you guys tell me where you're watching from because it's like this you know energetic web and it's reaching all over the world and we're all connected and and when you guys let me know i just i love that i think it's so cool okay let's do a divine door so uh, divine doors are you know, what, which door you're going to walk through. They don't always apply to the reading. Sometimes they do, but let's just do one. 
Divine Door for Sagittarius. Hummingbird Song. Wow, look at that. I've never seen this one. Hummingbird Song. Nectar of sweetness and joy it brings. The hummingbird's healing as medicine it sings. Wow. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, one more. <laughs> Somebody say one more. Uh, okay, here we go. One more. One more in a blue door. <laughs> okay, let's see. For Sagittarius, please. Bless this space. Another new one. Bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palace, Sento, or Sage will clear the air. I love it. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's, you know, you, you burn palacento or sage and it clears out negative energy. Mess it, put, leave it in the comments if you, if you don't know. Most of you know, but if you want help with that, um, put it in the comments and either several subscribers will respond to you or I will. All right. Love you guys and I will see you soon. Hope all is well. Fix this, Sagittarius, if you don't want to lose them. All right? All right. Love you guys. Bye, Sag.